Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. I am Steve the Human, and this is my friend... My friend Wobble D, and we're going to read y'all the story. A little story by a woman named Talos Angel, and it's called Romelia and Flanders, Scarlet Pain. <laughs> and it is quite wrong. Fortunately, is not much of a Toho fan, and he's never read this story before, so he's gonna be pretty new to a lot of things. But don't worry, he'll be fine. He'll just be horridly traumatized. This is what most... This is pretty much what fan consensus. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> now to begin the story. A Thor note. I like Toho, even though I rarely play it. Ha 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 ha, lol. And I was reading some people's reviews, and I saw a review that gave me in Dragon Ball Z High School Stories 2. He told me that people might not like it because they are in the wrong age group. And he's right! It's about time I wrote about something more dark and mature. I read mature fanfics for mature fanfic readers like myself. Anyway. This time... I decided to make a fanfiction about something that was briefly brushed upon in Toho Project, Mountain of Promise. RAPE! And how it affects the victim. Oh, who cares about that? I realize this story may be offensive to some, or it may invoke terrible trauma or depression in others. Aldi's well, already dead silent, other than it's cackling. So yeah, he, he's already traumatized, even though he hasn't read it yet. I deeply apologize to anybody who experiences this, but I advise you not to read the story if you are sensitive about the subject of rape and torture. Stay safe, stay away from binge drinking, which apparently has a link. Smart link to- <laughs> Did you browser have smart links? And why is one of them linked to binge drinking? <laughs> you can get this all right This is a this is absurd. This almost makes me not want to read the story about rape. <laughs> and no oh, anyway. And know that there are people who will help you, even though it doesn't seem like it. Thank you. That's why they Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also the prequel to my other Toho fanfiction, Toho Project, Mountain of Promise, which should be available via my profile. And now begins the actual story. Romelia and Flander! Scarlet Pain! Chapter 1, Mommy is Dead! Note, this story is told through first person, Romelia Scarlet's viewpoint. So being a lowly vampire, Romelia Scarlet will surely not have this voice. You probably have your voice. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you would make the perfect English dub. Alright. <clears throat> ah! mm. uh, I'm fine. I, I don't have the clap. I'll admit, I really don't remember a lot about Mommy. I remember that she was very tall, and she had a pale complexion like my own. She had long, pretty silver hair with a silver ponytail that me and my older sister Flander would play with even when she let us. You mean even when she didn't let us? Oh well. That's the first time I caught that, to be honest. She had the deepest, darkest blue eyes that were so pretty that I could always reach out and touch them. You know what? Screw it. For those who know her, this author is suggesting that Romelia's mother is Shinky. There, I said it. <laughs> Alrighty but I'm going to read the rest of it. I could almost reach out and touch them. I remember times we had together. She would play with me and my sister every time she came. And then it goes into blue text, so I have to pause. Back to the mansion, which has another smart link. To Wikipedia, again. Is it always Wikipedia with these smart links? No. What? No. 
you go to the pasture, what's this first? It's also a Three for three, dude. Alright, and she came back to the mansion from God knows what. And we would walk into the moonlit garden behind the mansion together to chase and catch fireflies, look at the roses, or just stare longingly into the moon with each other. For some reason I think that's grammatically incorrect. I remember that every day, we were vampires, so the sunlight was harmful, and we were therefore nocturnal. Comma. She would tuck us both in and tell us that she loved us. When either of us were sick, she would stay home, and those of us who weren't sick would take care of the sick one. One time, where Flander became sick comes to mind. We made her soup and read stories to her. Reflecting on those days, they were the most wonderful days of my entire life. Alas, they would not last forever. I remember that Mommy one day held her hands across her heart and fell down. Dramatic anime fall! Ah! <laughs> See, you couldn't do that because you're already on the ground. Alright. <laughs> Da 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 da. I landed on my knife. Glad it was closed. I was scared. So scared to see the woman who had always been strong suddenly collapse like that. I didn't know what to do, so I just cried and yelled, MOMMY! Really loud. Our bodyguard, Hong Mei Ling, ran over to me and, and mount mommy. <laughs> You know you can butt in any time. You know, you can be my little peanut gallery. I see. <laughs> and she was shocked. She immediately went for the phone, and I shouted over it for someone to come over and help. The ambulance had arrived, but rather than relief, I was scared. Why were they taking Mommy away? Is she okay? Will I ever see her again? I squeezed Mei Ling's hand. What do you think I was going to say? As the tears flowed down my face, as feelings of fear that I cannot understand washed over me. Later, in the hospital, me and Flander were waiting in the waiting room with some other people. All I really remember is that there were a lot of other people there, most of them looking annoyed rather than worried, agitated that they would have to wait to see the doctor, but blissfully unaware that lives were at stake. Mommy's gonna be okay, right? What? That's my established voice for Flander. Flander asked me. Her voice had an optimistic tone right until she said, Right. But it cracked into a momentary high-pitched sound. Right. I just looked at her. What was I going to say? I didn't know what was going- what was wrong with Mommy. How was I supposed to know what to expect? The fear overwhelmed me, and I fought my tears to hide them from my sister. After what seemed like ages, I saw the doctor and Mei Ling. Neither of them looked like they had good news. Mei Ling had red eyes and tears going down her face, while the doctor kept shaking her head, obviously unsure about how he would tell us this. How he? Wait, wait, wait. While the doctor kept shaking her head, and obviously unsure about how he would tell us this. Okay. Um. Yes, um, uh, um, I, I think it would be best if you girls talk to your mother and just go on with the story and don't ask about the gender of the doctor. We went into the room where Mommy was, and I was immediately shocked. Mommy was hooked up to all sorts of machinery, most notable of which was a screen with a wavy line that made beeping noises. Hear the beeping noises. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Mommy! I ran over to Mommy and hugged her. She opened her eyes and looked at me at my sister. Emilia. Flanda. Me. Mommy managed to gag out in a weak voice. Mommy's got to go. Somewhere. I'm sorry. The tears began to well up in the eyes once again. Mommy! I don't want you to leave me! I cried as I hugged tighter. I know. Mommy moaned painfully. But I have no choice. 
Mommy placed her hand on my head and brought Flander closer. Girls, just to know that no matter what happens, I will always love you. Mommy's grip loosened and she fell back onto the bed. The machine was a straight line and it made a long noise. Mommy! Yeah. I yelled as I started shaking. <laughs> Wait, I'm supposed to stop beeping. <laughs> I yelled as I started shaking her. Please, mommy. Please don't leave me. I love you. I then realized what the others knew as soon as the beep happened. My mommy had died from a heart failure. So, Otto D, what do you think of the story so far? <laughs> I'm still processing. Still processing? Well, I'm going to answer for you. It's pretty cheesy for a thing. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, are you ready for chapter two? Sure. Alright. Let's rock this. Let's see, how do I. Um, you mind if I like what you have? Oh, alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's go time. Alright, read chapter two until you get to chapter three. <laughs> And then I think things will be fine and dandy and fine. <clears throat> Boy.